Welcome to the Black Air History Channel. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for debating content. William Dorsey Swan was a freed slave and socialite who created the term drag queen and also created the first gay American organization. Born into slavery in 1858, William Dorsey Swan was a freed slave as a young boy in 1863 and would grow up on a farm with his newly emancipated family. In his adulthood, Swan organized secret banquets in Washington, D.C., where male ex-slaves would gather to dress in extravagant women's gowns and party freely from society's homophobic scrutiny. Through these drag balls, William Swan created the first queer organization in American history, using the drag ball events not just as social gatherings, but also for community development. He was also known to be close friends with Pierce Lafayette and Felix Hall, the first recorded gay enslaved couple in American history. William Swan wanted to be called the Queen or the Queen of Drag by friends and associates, effectively making him the first person in history to identify as a drag queen. His drag ball events were constantly raided by police, and as a result, Swan was jailed for nearly a year because of accusations he was running a brothel out of his home. After his sentencing, William sent a formal letter to be pardoned by then-President Cleveland, making him the first queer person in American history to formally and legally advocate for queer people's rights. When Will Swan eventually retired from hosting drag ball events, his two brothers, who were also attendees of his drag balls, continued to make dresses and host events for the ball's regular attendees. It's remarkable to think that a black queer ex-slave who created a welcoming space for his community so many years ago inevitably laid the foundation for that would positively change the world for so many.